Be careful not, not to hit hands if you've got a partner to work with. Okay, now we're going to get into the warm-up. Where are we at? 901? Okay, we're going to do start with walkouts. Okay, stretch those hamstrings. Walk all the way out. Come all the way back. And we'll time you. Everything's timed. What we're going to do for everybody is try to accommodate fitness levels, so show you different fitness levels, some of the things you may not be able to do. If there is a concern, chat us and let us know if you have a lower back or you have a shoulder issue, knee, whatever's really going on. Okay, good, good. Here we go. We got 15 seconds. Walking out. Oh, yes. Come right back. And then stretch. Still letting people in here. And G. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Stay in a full plank. We got our hip flexor with the chest. Now, if you just want to do the hip flexor, that's fine too. Alternating legs back and forth, really get that deep stretch right in your inner thigh there. Your hip flexor needs to be stretched out. Deb is also doing a chest stretch with that exercise. You really want to prepare the body for exercise. Good job, guys. Good job. You got 20 seconds. Twenty seconds. Here we go. Ten. Nice deep breath. Prepare for this big exercise round. Saturday morning, the sun's out in San Diego. I think we got seven inches of rain in the past since Monday, so we're definitely appreciative of the sun today. Okay, now we're gonna stay here on all fours. Take your hand on your spine, take that elbow down, and you're gonna stretch on one side, bringing that elbow up as high as you can, guys. Really getting that shoulder warmed up. There we go, let me see. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. Breathe out as you try to press. Your goal is to bring that elbow to the ceiling. Sometimes we're so tight in that shoulder we can't get there, but practice makes perfect. Switch sides. And then down, right back up. You're gonna look in that direction as well. Really look, take your time, feel that shoulder stretch happening. 10 more seconds. Okay, five, four, three, and switch on your back for some leg kicks. So we're going to straight body here. We're going to kick up with one leg, stretch that hamstring, then go over the body. Alternate legs for this minute, okay? Okay. Really feel that stretch in your hamstring, your hip, trying to get us warmed up here. Good job, guys. Good job. 20 seconds left. We got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, and one. Stand up, everybody. Stand up. We're going to get into the exercise round part of this. Our first one 
is going to be a little jump in, jump out touch. Now, if you just want to step, that is perfectly fine as well. Okay? And begin. In and out. Still trying to get that body warmed up. Good, good. Let me see. That's not happening, huh? Looking good, looking good. Halfway, 20 seconds. 20 seconds left. Give me five, four. Okay, now we're going to go into a full plank. So again, fitness levels, options. We can hold this full plank. Slow knees or mountain climbers, okay? Three different levels. If you can't do a full plank, do an elbow plank. You got shoulder concerns. But we want to get this plank in. I want to get the mountain climber. That's the uh, end level. Mountain climbers are dead. Did you start? I did, I did. Sorry. Begin, begin. <laughs> Good job, good job again. You don't need to do mountain climbers if you can. Great. Challenging it. <clears throat> Ten more seconds. Nice and slow. You can go nice and slow. Five, four, three, and switch. Okay. We're now going to grab a band or some free weights. We're going to do a stationary lunge with a bicep curl. So go back with your knee, back down with a bicep. If you don't want to do lunges, just stay here and do biceps. The lower you go, the harder that will be on those legs, those quads. Get set and begin. We also got those free weights. Nope, nope. Up and down. Yep. As you're coming up, you're going to stay on one leg. Next round, I'll switch legs. Or you remember what leg you're using. Good. Halfway. Really make sure this knee is straight down in that ankle. I don't want that knee to go forward. Protect that knee. Okay, a little better angle there. And okay, we got one more in this round. We get the chest jumping jack, chest jack. So, or again, you can do a step. Okay, just and begin. Chest jack, chest jack, chest jack. There we go. Jack is coming off. Here we go. Good. Just still in that warm-up round, getting that whole body ready for this exercise. Hope you're all participating. You all got your bands. Remember, guys, I got bands for sale. I definitely got bands. So if you don't have the resistance bands, let me know. I can ship those directly. I'm getting so many people asking. I just want to make sure you're aware we do have that option. Everybody should get bands. They're so easy, affordable. Three, two, and one. Okay. That was the first round. We're going on our second set here. We got those squats in and out or step in and out. Okay. And begin. Coming all the way down. Nice and slow. Your, your knees are going to be pointed out slightly just because you're coming down in front of you. Halfway, halfway. Good. 
Nice. Good stretch. Good stretch. Keep it going. Ten more seconds. Good job, Deb. Give me five, four, three. Mountain climbers or those full planes or those elbow planes. Okay? You can do if you're at level one, that's fine. Elbow plank on your knee. How you would do that is right here, guys. Okay? So get set and begin. Good, mountain climbers. Make sure you don't step on your bands. Or go nice and slow. Touch that elbow. Halfway. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. Good. 10 left, 10 left. Push, push. Here we go. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're back to the stationary lunge, the opposite leg with a bicep curl. So coming down with that back knee and then up. I don't want to come all up to your shoulders. Keep that elbow in line right there and begin. <clears throat> Probably the red band, if you have my bands, the red or the green would be a good tension. I know I did that leg the first round. Good, good. We're almost there. 15. Good form, straight up right there, keeping that elbow to the side. <clears throat> there you go, good. 10. We'll come all the way up right there. Five, four, three, and go. We got one more chest jack, step, stretch, <clears throat> or we're still getting that heart rate going. But your thumbs are up, stretching out those pecs, shoulders, and chest. Okay, here we go, begin. Good job, good job. Make sure you're breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Coming to you from Vista, California, in our garage. We have 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. You know what? Give me five. Just because I like this round so much, we got three sets of this round, okay? If you need a little water break, now it's okay to get a little water break, get a little breather, a little recovery. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We got one more set of this big one. Okay, we got our squats in and out. Okay, here we go. Get set, begin. Remember, you can step. Keep in that posture. When you're doing a squat, I want to look right in front of you. A lot of times we bend down too low, we look at the floor. That's not correct. Protect that posture. Good. Good. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, guys. Give me five, four, and right. Okay. Now we have our mountain climbers, mountain climbers, or full plank, or elbow plank. 
Hand me good. I'm going too fast. That's okay. Go at your own speed. Just try to give you that Saturday workout to set the day up for success. I know a lot of us are under some stress, just hanging out at home. Our routines are all off. This is a routine that hopefully I see a lot of you guys on regular, regularly, regular, <laughs> and we want to keep that going. 15 seconds. <clears throat> nice, good, good. Five, four, three, and good. We got our lunge with the bicep. What we're gonna do halfway through is switch legs. Because I know this is our last set. We want to make everything equal. So what we'll do is we'll do 30 and 30. Okay, everybody get set and begin. Good. You're going to also stretch that hip flexor in this lunge. You guys are sitting a lot at your computer. Five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to switch legs. Same exercise. Just switch those legs. Get set. And begin. Good. You can really feel that stretch in that front thigh, huh? Not easy. Where are we at? Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, one more chest jack, and we are done with this round. Okay, guys? Step, step. And five. Four, three, two, and begin. Right. All right. Stretch chest and shoulders. Halfway, guys, halfway. Stay with us. You guys got it. Good job. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. We got a new round coming up right here. Three, two, and one. Okay, just a tiny bit of a stretch break. Bring your arms behind you. Just kind of loosen everything still up. <laughs> what we got going is a chest movement. We're going to do a chest press or a push-up. Okay, I'm going to show you all the opportunities or all the options that you can do. First one is a push-up. You can do it on your knees or your toes. If you had an attachment to the wall or a banister, you would do a chest press this way. If you didn't have anything to attach the band, you would wrap it around your, go underneath your arms, do that press, or one more option, guys. If we're on our back, hips are up, come right down, right back up if you got just free weights, okay? Four different options for chest. Then we're gonna be going into a, a row, but I'll show you that. So get into your position, for that chest, whichever exercise you have, and begin. I'm going to wrap it around my body. And you don't grab the handles on this, grab the band itself. You need more tension. Keep your knees bent slightly. We're halfway in, keeping that posture, engage your core, you're standing. Good, keep it going, keep it going. 
We're almost there. Let me see. Five, four, three, and one. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Bent over rows. Again, a lot of options. We can do the band before the handles. We got free weights. Or again, if you have that attachment, you're pulling right here. Elbows are in. Three different options on the bent over row or the standing row if you have that attachment. Everybody get set. Begin. There we go. You're going to bend over. Make sure your lower back. Push your chest out so you do have that curvature in your lower back. Coming right back up, elbows. Really squeeze, elbows are in close. We got 10 more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. Okay, I call this a wood chop or a knee drive. There's a couple options on this. If you do have a free weight, you're gonna chop down and knee drives on one side. I'll switch you halfway through. If you don't have anything, make your fist and chop, okay? If you have some kind of a weight, everybody get set and begin. Good, good. So remember, halfway through, I'm going to switch you. Really bring that leg really far behind you. Chop down. When you're chopping down, visualize your core, your abs, working, contracting. Okay, we're going to switch legs, switch legs, switch that wood chop and knee drive, begin, good guys, good, starting to get a little sweat going, right, we got a little sweat going, Very good, very good. Five, four, three, and switch. Okay, now we're gonna do a side lunge to one side and then the other, back and forth. Watch my side view, guys. These knees aren't going over. You're gonna really go side to side. If you got weights you wanna hold on to, great. Side lunges. Lateral squat, whatever you want to call it. Begin. So big stance, big stance. Lean over. Now when you're pushing over to one side, really push your glutes behind you. Okay? Really push your glutes behind you so you don't hurt that knee. Good. Back and forth. Awesome. That looks good. Now. Yep. Good. Breathe. Breathe. Feeling all those muscles in the leg. A lot of movement going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me, 20 seconds. You got 10, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to repeat that round again. Chest. So we got push ups, chest press with the anchor or without, or the dumbbell chest press on your back with your hips up, okay? Everybody get set. Take that nice deep breath and begin. Looking good, Deb, looking good. Hips are up, you're working your glutes as well. You need to wrap it around, press forward. You're going to feel your chest and shoulders, a little bit of triceps. Good. 
Breathe in out as you press forward, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. When you exert a force, you're exhaling. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, and switch. Bent over rows. Stand up. Get a little breather here. Okay, everybody gets set. Bent over rows. Free weights or bands. Begin. Really arch that back, push your chest out, elbows are close, pause for a second, squeeze your upper back. And row, good, 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 keep it going. Hold, where we have for time, 10 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay. We got our knee drives with free weights for our hands. It's up to you to focus on your abs on that one. Really put in that attention. Okay. And begin. I will switch you halfway. Good. Go over your head. Boom. Boom. Three, five. From this side, four. Three. We'll switch legs. Switch legs. And begin. Good on time. Very good. Good. Ten more seconds here, guys. Ten more. Four, three, two, and one. Side lunges. This is going to end this round. We got a new round coming after the side lunges. Your alternating legs. Big stance, big stance. Push back your glutes, push back your glutes, back and forth. Begin. Right, in through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe, recover. Don't hold your breath. A lot tougher. Halfway. Good side lunge. The knee is tracking over the toe, not going over the toe. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Time for a little water break, a little recovery. We got one more round. And this round is going to be, um, we're going to need free weights or bands for the first two. And I'm going to have to show you different exercises. So let me first show what we got going on. If you got the bands, <clears throat> So use your lightest band, and you're doing a rear fly. Your knees are bent. The second exercise is biceps. Now make sure, obviously, this band doesn't come up and snap you in the face. On this one, you may need a little more tension, but the fly, either yellow or blue for you guys. Now say you didn't have bands, right? What we're going to do is take our light weights. Okay, a little bit bent over on the knees. 
And then we got biceps, okay? Rear fly and biceps. Okay, you got free weight options, you got resistance bands options. After those two exercises, I still got two more for that round. So stay on the floor, okay? So what we got are rear flies, get set, begin. So again, if we're, so what I want you to do is a little bit bent over on your knees. This could bring me on the floor a lot. So what I want you to do is adjust your hands. Your pinkies are facing up. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It hurts the shoulder. Okay. It hurts the shoulder. Don't do it. Don't push through anything which feels uncomfortable. It's not about exercise, no pain, no gain. It's about minimal pain and a lot of gain. <laughs> 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Okay, let me show you the biceps. So you can do speed set if you want to stand or kneel. What I'll do is I'll show you. Okay, begin. Right there, keeping that posture too. Don't be bending over. Aim for the ears, and again, make sure that band does not slip off your feet and snap you in the face. I'm not responsible, I warned you. <laughs> halfway, halfway. You wanna challenge that bicep on one leg, you can do that. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. We got two more after this. A couple of your favorites. Give me five, four, and switch. We got beast mode, beast and bird dog. Okay, the first one is beast. You're just gonna be in a tabletop with your knees just hovering. If that hurts your wrist, make some fist. Keep your wrist in alignment and just hold it, okay? Everybody get set and begin. Now if you wanna challenge it, you can walk forward and then walk back, which is very difficult, but good. Obviously, we we'll wanna challenge it, but be protective. That's good, Deb, back and forth, back and forth. I'll give you a view of her legs there. Very good, very good. 15 seconds, guys, 15 seconds. Hold that beast, knees are hovering, 90 degree angle at that hip joint. Three, two, one. We worked our front side of the core, now we got that bird dog. We're gonna reach, come in. If you just wanna hold it for 30, or do that bird dog crunch, halfway through, we're gonna switch sides and begin. So again, either left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, opposites, you're holding, trying to visualize your hips are square and even. You don't want one side up. <clears throat> Give me 10 seconds this side, we're gonna switch. Very good, very good. Okay, switch sides, if we haven't switched, switched. Very good. Reaching in, arm and leg are coming up as high as they can. Really trying to reach for the ceiling, extend that leg. Again, you can just hold this. It's a great core exercise, hitting so many muscles. Shoulder, core, leg, hip flexor. Five. Four, three, and good. Okay, I want to do one more. We got that cobra. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is go way forward and then back down, out, forward, and back down. We're pulling back down like a lat pull down. Okay, 
little different. Get set, begin. All the way out, perfect, forward, perfect, great. Working all the muscles on the spine, the erector spine, very important. Often neglected in most exercise programs. Good job, Deb. Keep your legs up as well. I didn't say that, sorry. Keep your legs straight, keep them off the ground, squeeze your glutes. 10 more seconds. Give me five, four, three, and we're gonna repeat that round one more time. And then we got stretch and we're done, guys. You guys did it. We're almost there. Push a little harder this last round. We got the rear fly. I'll show you seated. Keep your knees bent and really arms making a T. Okay, begin. Begin, begin. Again, if you got a free weight, you can do what Deb's doing, hitting the same muscle group. Bent over, rear flies. Now, if you have an attachment, you can do it too. You can do the attachment up there uh, with that yellow band. Yep. Put your palms facing the mirror, though. Good. Up a little higher, a little higher. Up here, up here. Good. Keep it going, keep it going. Ten more seconds. Give me five, four, three, biceps. Now you can stay here for biceps too. Just aim for your ears. Okay, everybody gets set with biceps. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> it's like you're pushing a little bit on your feet because the last thing you want to do is relax your feet and have that band hit you. Yeah, probably not enough tension on that yellow. Good, good, keep it going. Obviously, you could stand on the band as well. Do fast biceps just because we really want to fatigue those biceps. Yeah, yeah. Saturday, almost there. Ten more seconds. You can hold it for a little isometric contraction. With weights or with a band, keeping that posture. Five, four, three, two, and one. Three more exercises, guys. We got beast, bird dog, and cobra with that lat pole. Okay? Beast, here we go. Run our last three. Get set. Begin. <laughs> there we go. You got some sweat going on on the floor there. I like that. I like that. I got sweat all over my brow. Yes. Feels good. Feels good. We got to run our driveway, huh? <laughs> Do some sprints after this, huh? Good job, guys. Good job. Remember, we have six classes a week. Every day we have a class except Friday, but now we got Friday yoga, 5.30. Yoga and wine if you want a little social after. Our next class is Monday, 6.30. We got yoga tomorrow, though, at 10 a.m., but then we got a class, 6.30 a.m., Tuesday, 10 a.m., for those who are just joining us. Okay, bird dog, bird dog. <clears throat> if you want to get on our email list, send me an email with your email. We'll put you in the list so you get the updates every day. Sorry we had a couple issues with links lately. The Zoom links weren't working. They were overwhelmed. They fixed that. So we shouldn't have any more issues with those links. You're on one side halfway through. I'm going to switch to that in four, three, two, one, and switch. Okay. There we go. Good reach, nice. Bird dog crunch, bird dog crunch. 
five, four, three, and good. We got our cobra with a lap pull down. You're on your stomach, your arms are extended, your legs are up, your arms are up. Begin. Good, good. Nice. So guys, we're working everything down here, lower back majority. Great exercise, like I'm saying. This is often neglected. People don't usually do cobras or back extensions. You've seen those machines. Those can be uh, hurtful if done incorrectly. So make sure if you do go to the gym, I know that right now we're not going to the gym. But when you do, have a trainer watch for them because you want to keep that lower back arch throughout that whole range of motion. I've seen that done, done incorrectly many times. Okay, we got five, four, three, two, and we are done. We're going to do a little stretch. Stay on the floor, on your back. If you want to do a downward dog, but I want you on your back first. You're going to drop knees to one side, 90 degree angle. You're at a T position, your palms are down. This is going to stretch the chest, shoulder, and hips. There we go. Good. Good job, guys. You did it. You did it. In through the nose, out through the mouth. That's the way to recover. Okay, we're going to switch sides. Good, begin, hips and chest. Nice deep breath. Remember to drink a lot of water after this, guys. You want to take your weight, divide it by two. That's how many ounces a day your body needs. Okay, we're not going to do a figure four for glutes. A little figure four for some glute stretching and begin. Your hands are through your leg. Pull that leg in. Right now, Deb is stretching her right glute. Good. Continue to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, switch sides. Good stretch, good stretch. Okay, we're now going to sit up into a butterfly stretch. Our feet are together. Good. Bring your heels in close. If you want a little extra credit, put your elbows on your knees. If you're tight like me. I have a little guy calling me. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Okay, we're going to extend our legs all the way here. Hamstring and calf. Flex your feet. Reach forward. Good. What's up? shoes on. Good. As you're stretching, when you exhale, reach a little farther each time. Ten more seconds, ten more seconds. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna stand up for some upper body stretches. To interlock our fingers, pull back. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Yeah, buddy? Burn it? Give me a second. Little tricep stretch. Tricep stretch, reach your arms up. Bend at one elbow and touch it between the shoulder blades. Use your opposite hand to pull your elbow up and back. Really feel that stretch through the tricep of your higher arm. Continue to breathe deeply into your body. Deep inhalations, really nourish your body. Complete exhalations. And then switch sides, release that arm, lengthen both arms towards the ceiling, bend of the opposite elbow, touch between the shoulder blades, and this time use the other arm to pull down and back. Almost there, guys, almost done. After this, we'll come on down to a downward dog or hamstring stretch. Okay. Downward dog. Yep, we'll come on down. Forward fold first. Let your head and your torso just hang. Really stretch into those hamstrings. And place your palms on the ground. Walk your palms forward. Step your feet back. Make an upside down V with your body. Pushing away from the ground with your palms so that you have more weight shift into the lower half of your body. As soon as you push away from the ground with your palms, you're going to really feel your spine lengthen, your side bodies lengthen. Notice all that space you're creating in your body. Feel your heels stretch towards the ground and really stretch those hamstrings as well. If it feels good, you can walk your dog. So I'm just going to show you a side view. Walking your dog is bend one knee and draw the other heel all the way to the ground. And then alternate, straighten both legs, then the opposite knee, other heel goes to the ground. Okay, I think we're done for the day, guys.